what's up guys welcome back to my channel so what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i recently had baby girl yesterday um no what's up guys welcome back to my channel so this is my first day home with baby girl so currently they let us go yesterday um night and it was we got home around like nine maybe after they did all the tests on her and everything they let her go so last night was literally really rough <laughs> for the first actual night um because i think she was just trying to get acclimated to like doing all them tests then coming home and then being in a new environment so we ended up um coming home last night getting her together and trying to go through the night so today is actually our first day um technically home so i am so excited um i i have um posted make sure you check out the birth vlog because it was crazy so in georgia they do not allow you to record um during labor so i could not record like i wanted to but i did try to get as much footage as i could of raw moments whether they were good or bad okay <laughs> so i'm so happy about it so the experience wasn't bad at all i wasn't in labor long i was only really technically in labor three hours it progressed so fast and even my doctor was like this went by fast most moms are take a full bag of pitocin and they're on and they're currently they will be on um like in labor for 12 plus hours but really i got in for my induction that night and by that morning 8 a.m they broke my water and i had her by like 11 at 11 24 a.m so it went by pretty fast and i was so excited about that um so yes today we're going to just vlog our very first day home and show you guys kind of like what we're doing so i'm gonna go ahead i went ahead and got myself together and currently guys i am my pain is about a six but it's lightening it up i can walk um i do have swelling in my feet and i just feel like i don't know i think seeing my body not pregnant and then seeing after pregnancy um is difficult i guess it's gonna take some adjusting it's gonna take some adjusting but we got this so um yeah so today i'm gonna go ahead i already got myself together and listen she was crying and i just had to take that moment where it's like okay i'm gonna get me together i'm gonna take a moment to get me together so i am breastfeeding so yes as well so right now it feels like she's cluster feeding and my doctor told me that if she does cluster feed it's okay um it just let her cluster feed so i'm currently breastfeeding and going through the day we're about to get her dressed and i'm going to show you guys just some of what i'm going to do to get her dressed and how my day goes as like officially like a first time parent not being in a hospital all on my own well my mother and my husband is here and they have listen i could not do it without them lean on your support system because during this process it can get rough it can have you oh okay <laughs> so make sure you lean on your support system and know that they're there for you and allow them to be there for you so we're gonna go ahead and get baby girl for my mom and get her dressed okay guys so baby girl is currently sleeping this is kaizy anora and we're gonna go ahead and get her um wiped off i can't i'm not gonna submerge her in water so i'm gonna just do a wash off but this is her this is sticky mama and we're gonna get her clean and get her pretty for today so you guys i will check back in after i get her dressed Alrighty guys, so this is what we chose for her to wear today, something simple. She's ready to eat and I am currently charting her um, her breastfeeding time, so it is her time. And currently guys, this is her bassinet. Currently I'm using on her just main attraction and also her, ooh, I'm being so lazy. <laughs> 
also her this so i just used those two on her hair now and this bow i currently got from amazon so she is really small so newborn clothes doesn't even fit her she's five pounds and eight ounces so i'm gonna go ahead and get her fed and see if we can get her calm before she goes crazy What's up guys so i am currently downstairs i came downstairs to catch a breather while baby girl was asleep i did just put her to sleep but i am watching her on our b tech monitor to make sure she isn't crying and that she is okay she's not upstairs alone guys she is with my husband is upstairs in the room with her but i just wanted to make sure she was doing okay so literally it feels like it's absolutely nothing to do <laughs> um when you have like like the daily basis stuff like going to the grocery store and stuff like that i can't do right now because i'm still healing but let me tell you i had such a great doctor i did not tear when i had baby girl at all so i believe that my healing process should be really good um and i'm also i delivered vaginally so hopefully everything heals and everything goes as planned um i do currently have baby girl on again as i mentioned a schedule with breastfeeding and also i don't know if you guys dealt with this she when i told you that when we first brought her home that night she was really gassy and then today i know already she's already pooped like three times so <laughs> i know this uh vlog is just basically us around the house because we can't really go nowhere we're healing and we're supposed to stay in the house for six weeks which is going to be kind of hard because i am the type of person i like to get up and go outside I like to see what's going on. I like to see, just get a breath of fresh air, work out something to do something. It's so pretty outside and we're in the house, but we make the best of it. All right, guys. So she ended up waking up. I put her down for like 20 minutes and she was like, I'm not having it. Okay. I'm not having it. So you need to come get me. So <laughs> I did go up to get her. She is still sleeping. Am I like the only? Say hey. Say hey to the peoples. Say hey to the peoples. So, am I the only one who loves big bows? Like, I am obsessed with the big bows. <laughs> and she's looking like be for real, girl. I'm trying to go to sleep and you're talking. I really should be asleep because I really feel like I haven't had no sleep. But I think, like, I have this instant where I feel like, oh, my God, like, I'm a mom. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this before she gets up. I need to do that. I need to go here. I need to go do this. She might need this. Let me watch this. Like, I feel like, I feel like... I am going, going, going because I feel like she is going to need it or she. I have to do it right now. So, I really feel like that has been like a big part of um, everything. It's always feeling like I need to do something um, and not really rest. And I'm sure that's probably like a mommy thing, but... I, when I should be resting, I be feeling like, mm, no, I don't need to get no rest. I need to go do this, do this, do this. I rest later. I'm not that tired. And I keep putting it off. But I'm going to actually make sure I take a moment to rest because you don't want to keep putting off your rest to the point where, you know, you're just, <laughs> you're just, um, you crash all of a sudden. But I just think I'm on a high. Like, I just want to watch her and look at her and i don't know hopefully it will pass where i will go to bed 
Oh, she is over me talking, okay? She is over. She is like, please, cut it out now. <laughs> so, but she really is, guys. She's really a good baby. I am so happy God blessed me with her. Oh, my God. Girl, did she just... Okay, guys, okay. Okay, guys, so I'm getting ready to put her night clothes on. I did pick out her. She has a doctor's appointment, so I am going to put that on her tomorrow and fold some clothes. And then we're, I'm going to get myself ready for bed after her. So, yeah, guys. And, again, everything that we have that's newborn is totally too big because she's so small. But we try to make the best out of it. So, I'm going to do that and get her changed and get her fed. So let's do that so we can call it a night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm moving. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry. Okay. Right, guys. So we got her all changed. I ended up having to put her a different one on because the other one was way too big so we're gonna go ahead and get her in the bed get her swaddled up and in her bassinet and just for now good night guys say good night all right that means good night <laughs> bye guys